Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be reviewing the uh, Blue Team Spartan Warrior from the 4-pack, um, Halo 4 4-pack. Um, this guy's pretty cool, but before we take a closer look at him, let's go ahead and take a look at his packaging. And it is quite large. I had to back the camera like way up to even get it in frame. Um, as you can see here, it's quite large. Here's the figure. I don't know why they decided to make the box so big. I mean, there was only four characters in this box. They made it seem like, I don't know, some kind of vehicle was in here. Uh, but it does have nice renderings of all of the figures that came in this pack, uh, which is the uh, Blue Warrior, uh, Spartan, the Halo 4 Master Chief, a Grunt, and the Elite Zealot. And uh, on the side here, it's got another picture of the figures, and that kind of classic Halo 4. Uh, picture. Same thing on the other side. And on the back here, you can see the other figures that were released in this wave. Um, a preview of what was going to be in the next wave, and some of the Spartan Micro Ops sets, and then the um, ODST drop pod. So it has pretty nice packaging. I wish it had been a little bit smaller. Um, you know, I feel like if you wanted to keep this in the package on your shelf, it's it's huge and it's only got four figures in it. So I don't know. Um, but anyways, back to the figure. This guy is really cool. It was the first. Well, this set was the first thing that I had bought from uh, Halo Four, and it kind of let me get a look at what the uh, armor was going to be like, and I was very impressed. Um, you know, this guy looks amazing. They got every detail from the game, pretty much. And he stands about five and a quarter inches tall. So he's pretty much in scale with the uh, Halo Reach figures. He comes with uh, one accessory, and that is the Halo 4 sniper rifle. And they did just an amazing job capturing this from the game. It's got uh, green paint on the ends of the uh, scope here and some paint here on the other end and it's got a removable peg here so you could put it on his back if you wanted to go ahead and take it out of his hands um, like I said this guy's armor just looks amazing and I might be a little bit biased because uh, I do like the uh, warrior helmet uh, from the game but uh, this guy does look really cool and they did a nice job painting him He's uh, definitely weathered, you know, he looks like he's been through a couple battles, uh, but it's not overdone, which is nice. He's got a double ball jointed head, lets him have a great range of motion, so that's always nice. He's got ball hinged shoulders that do swivel all the way around. He's got ball hinged elbows that give him about 90 degrees, and they do swivel in the upper arm and in the lower arm. He's got ball hinged wrists that again swivel in the forearm and in the hand. He's got a diaphragm joint, feels like a ball peg that lets him swivel and crunch just a little bit, you know, not too much. He's got, uh, I feel like these are uh, ball joints in his hips, so they come forward, you know, a pretty good amount. You know, they go back a good amount too, so that's nice. He's got ball hinged knees that do swivel and ball hinged ankles that swivel in the uh, shin and in the foot. And then he's got a ball peg here in his toe that lets his toe move. So that's nice. This guy's pretty much got the uh, full range uh, of articulation that we've come to expect uh, in these Halo figures. And uh, I think that this guy uh, is definitely worth picking up. You know, if you, uh, the entire pack, uh, if you, if you had bought Series 1, it's probably not worth getting just for this guy. But uh, if you're like me and you hadn't picked up a Master Chief or an Elite or a Grunt yet, uh, this guy's definitely, you know, the, the pack was definitely worth getting. So uh, just tell me what you think about this guy in the comments section below. And I'll see you later.